Hi guys, it's Dulcy, and welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry for not posting yesterday, which was Wednesday. Um, I went from 8 a.m. all the way until 8 p.m. And at that point, I was just very tired, and I had a l I had some homework that I needed to still do, so I, I really didn't have time to film a video. So, um... Today's actual video I didn't realize that I actually did beforehand, so I will just be doing the topics from yesterday's video today. So that will be tips for, so for today I'll be talking about tips for doing your laundry in college and um, ways to manage anxiety in college. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. So um, first um, I'm going to talk about doing your laundry in college. Um, don't wait until your laundry bin is overflowing. Um, I try to do my laundry at least once a week because I only have like so many pants. So like once I'm out of pants, like I need to do laundry. Um, sorry for the loud noises that might happen outside my window. Um, they're doing some like construction things to some pipes and stuff so sorry about that um, but there are two there are some times where you'll be too busy and end up not being able to do your laundry um, but try to not let it accumulate usually the longest I will go without doing my laundry is like a week and a half almost two weeks and that's pushing it <laughs> um, set timers people will take out your take your clothes out of the dryer or washing machine and put their put them somewhere else if you're if you're not taking your clothes out on a timely manner. Um, if you don't want anyone touching your clothes, set a timer for a few minutes before your laundry is done. Um, so what I usually do is like on the washer and dryer, I'm pretty sure every washer and dryer it, in the world like does this, where it'll tell you how much time in, like your load will take. So like it takes 26 minutes for my washer and then an hour for my, uh, for the dryer. And so what I usually do is I just set a timer on my phone and then um, I will, once that goes off, if I'm in the middle of something, I will like wait until I'm like at a good stopping point and then go switch my laundry. Um, I think that is very, very helpful because there have been plenty of, like many, many times where I've gone and done the laundry and all the dryers are full because no one has like taken out their stuff and like I can't move my stuff from the washer into the dryer without them like until they like move their stuff so please get like that is like one of the biggest tips I have is to make sure that you are taking your laundry out at a reasonable time um do not leave your supplies in the laundry room people will use them and it might not be there when you get back um a tip is you can use a shower caddy to keep all of that stuff in and then just carry that in um, usually what I do is, like, I'll put, like, my laundry detergent in my, like, laundry basket when it's full of clothes, and then I usually just leave my laundry basket downstairs and no one usually, like, touches it, and I just take, like, my detergent and bring it back upstairs once I've done, like, once I'm done using it. Um, use detergent pods. Um, that really is just up to you. If your preference is just the liquid detergent, you can use that. That's what I use. Um, read the labels on your clothes. Don't assume everything can and should go into the dryer. Um, the dryers at my college, like, they have, like, a setting where it's delicate and, um, delicates and something else, isn't it? So that's what I use when I, um, wash and dry my clothes. Um, so invest in a laundry rack. Um, in a tiny dorm, there's not so much space that you can use to hang wet bras and, like, sweaters and stuff. So, um, it's folds up easily and can fit in the back of your closet or under your bed. Um, you can get them at Walmart or Target. I'm pretty sure you can also get them at Lowe's. Um, have laundry etiquette. If you need a dryer and they're full and some of them are are finished, wait 10 minutes before taking someone's stuff out of the dryer. If you do take someone's stuff out, place it neatly like on a folding table if there is one, which there usually is. Um, your stuff is if your stuff is done, get it out on time. Um, usually, like, I can tell, like, how long, like, um, stuff has been, like, in the dryer and stuff. Like, usually after a while, it doesn't, like, tell you how much, like, that your time is at zero, so. 
Um, double check the washers and the dryers. Um, run your hands over through, like, inside the appliance, like, the washer and dryer to make sure that you didn't leave anything in there. I've lost many socks due to not doing that or, like, do actually doing that and then, like, not realizing that, like, I dropped it or something. Um, buy a laundry hamper that you can carry. You're going to have to either lug this thing across campus, depending on where, if you don't have, um, a laundry area, a laundry room in your dorm, or down a few flights of stairs. Empty your pockets before you do laundry. There's, this is a great way to avoid ruining your clothes and your possessions. Um, if you pay for laundry at your school, make sure you have enough money in your account beforehand. I would recommend using quarters instead of your like card, but most things will charge because most times like they'll charge extra like if you swipe a card. Um, so I usually just try to keep quarters with me. Um, keep all your dirty clothes in one place. Use a laundry basket to hold them. And put time in your schedule to do laundry. I do mine on Sundays, like around like 11, to, between 11 and 12 is like when I start my laundry. So yeah. So now I'm going to talk about ways to manage anxiety in, in college. Um, sing a little song. Um, if there's a song that like relieves your stress and your anxiety, sing that and it should help. Um, podcast story time. Podcasts are a great way to keep your mom dist your mind distracted from anxious thoughts. Um, anxiety has a lot to do with fear behind like upcoming events or not knowing how certain things are going to turn out. So if you have a favorite podcast, um, recommend I would recommend doing that. Um, currently, I'm listening to According to. It's by Megan and Sierra. They they have a YouTube channel, um, so go check them out and their podcast. Um, I also uh, started, am starting the podcast um, Girl Same. Um, it's Maddie Westbrook and one of her friends. So I haven't started listening to it, but I have it saved to where I can start listening to it. So definitely would recommend checking those two out. Um, take deep breaths. Taking deep breaths before a test or presenting a huge project can be really helpful. Um, gym it out. If you don't have access to a gym, you can go to the local park, bike around the neighborhood, or even use fitness videos on YouTube. There's a lot of great ways to stay active without having to pay for a gym membership. Um, Wesleyan, like, we have access to a gym that's on campus, so we don't have to, like, we just give them our swipe and they swipe us in, and, um, we're good. Um, mantra repeat. A mantra is a personal is personal each person practice repeating mantras to find out what works for you um write slash plan it, plan it out grab a journal or a planner and decorate it with stickers washi tape or even paint um you'll find yourself actually looking forward to opening it um i journal every now and then like i tr um every once in a while i start journaling every day which I'm, i i want to get into the habit of doing that um, whenever I have time, like time in my day, I'll just like sit down and journal and take a break from everything. So I would recommend doing that. Um, speak your mind. Talking about stuff you're going through can be, um, really therapeutic. You don't necessarily need to talk to a counselor or anything like that, but even just having a conversation with a close friend is a good outlet for anxiety. Talking things out with others can give a different perspective and they might even give good advice, uh, suggestions for dealing with it. Um, college students go through a lot of similar things, so getting together with friends will be a form of great support system, and you can also be like, I just want you to listen, like, I don't want any feedback, like, I just want to tell you what's going on, and you're, um, if they're, if they're a really good friend, they will respect that. Um, find support groups on campus, um, pleasant, use pleasant scents, having a fragrance in your purse or your backpack can be a good way to relieve your anxiety in the moment. There are a lot of good scents you can carry around so you find one that you enjoy and carry a small sample, so you, like a perfume or something or hand sanitizer and spray it on your wrist or just put it on your hands if you're starting to feel anxious. Lavender oil, lavender oil is a great essential for that um, and it comes up as an alternate alternative to medicine when it comes to decreasing anxiety systems. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. And the last point is watching something fun. T 
Taking a break from the world is a great way to escape from reality and immerse yourself in something different and something that you like. But try not to get stuck watching stuff all night long or else you'll risk causing more anxiety because of procrastination. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in my next video.